A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Woe to me, mother, that you gave me birth, a man of strife and contention to all the land. I neither borrow nor lend, yet all curse me. When I found your words, I devoured them. They became my joy and the happiness of my heart. Because I bore your name, O Lord God of hosts, I did not sit celebrating in the circle of merry makers. Under the weight of your hand, I sat alone, because you filled me with indignation. Why is my pain continuous, my wound incurable, refusing to be healed? You have indeed become for me a treacherous brook, whose waters do not abide. Thus, says, thus the Lord answered me, If you repent so that I restore you, in my presence you shall stand. If you bring forth the precious without the vile, you shall be my mouthpiece. Then it shall be they who turn to you, and you shall not turn to them. And I will make you toward this people a solid wall of brass. Though they fight against you, they shall not prevail. For I am with you to deliver and rescue you, says the Lord. I will free you from the hand of the wicked and rescue you from the grasp of the violent. Verbum Domini. God is my refuge on the day of distress. God is my refuge on the day of distress. Rescue me from my enemies, O oh my God. From my adversaries, defend me. Rescue me from evildoers. From bloodthirsty men, save me. For behold, they lie in wait for my life. Mighty men come together against me. Not for any offense or sin of mine, O Lord. O oh, my strength, for you I watch. For you, O God, are my stronghold. As for my God, may his mercy go before me. May he show me the fall of my foes. But I will sing of your strength and reveal at dawn in your mercy. You have been my stronghold, my refuge in the day of distress. O my strength, your praise will I sing. For you, O God, are my stronghold, my merciful God. God Dominus Fobiscum, et cum spiritu tuum, Flesio Sancti Evangelii Secundum Matteum, Gloria Tibi et Domine. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, 
he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. Verbum Domini. Last Do we observe how uh, evil is rampaging in the world today? ISIS is doing their killing spree left and right. Cops are being shot and killed. Violence seems to keep on increasing everywhere in the world. Oftentimes we ask the question, when will these end? When will wrong things stop and when will right things begin and continue and thrive? You know, Jeremiah was bursting out into laments for himself in the first reading, and he was lamenting his own pain. And he was asking, why is my pain continuous, my wound incurable, refusing to be healed? We can say the same thing. We can say like Jeremiah about the world we are living in, why is our pain continuous? When will violence end? When will wrong things stop and right things begin and continue and thrive? We can easily uh, join him with our own laments in this third millennium. What was uh, God's answer to Jeremiah? What was his response to his lamenting comments? You know, God's response was simply repentance. Jeremiah said, The Lord answered me, If you repent so that I restore you, in my presence you shall stand. So repentance was the Lord's answer to Jeremiah. It was his answer to his laments. Repentance was the Lord's answer to his continuous pain. And afterward, one would enjoy the fruit of repentance, which is the enjoyment of God's defense. What did he say uh, earlier? <clears throat> he said, um, Though they fight against you, they shall not prevail. For I am with you to deliver and rescue you, says the Lord. I will free you from the hand of the wicked and rescue you from the grasp of the violent. You know, God has to be the one we want to rely on uh, to fight for us. Not our president, not our next president, not anybody else. There are uh, evils we don't see with our eyes. There are evils we're not even aware that we are fighting against them or they against us. You know, just like St. Paul said in one of his letters, this is actually from uh, Ephesians chapter 6, he said, We are not contending against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers against the world rulers of this present darkness, against the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. That's who we are fighting against. That's who's fighting against us. Once we're aware who we're dealing with, we realize we don't have a chance to fight with our own strength. You know, we don't have a chance uh, to, to stand firm against them. Even the whole army of soldiers in the entire world put together does not have a chance to fight on their own against what Paul was talking about. No commander of chief can lead the best army in the world if there's no repentance, if there's no reliance on God. God is the true defender of all evils. You now we got the answer through Jeremiah we all have to repent, not just people who are shooting left and right. 
But we all do. We, I have to. We all do. We all have to repent. We all have to rely on God. We all have to stop relying on ourselves or on our nation or any nation. We, each of us has to get back again to the basics. I mean, to the basics. Fidelity in our own state of life, uh, doing you know, the best to our ability in whatever uh, obligation, whatever duties we have you know, as a priest or as a deacon or as a lay faithful, uh, you know, married men and women and so forth, each of us has to get back to, to fidelity uh, to, in each of our state of life and keeping the commandments, practicing uh, virtues. Each of us has to get back again to fervent prayers. Fervent prayers, not just prayers once in a while, but fervent prayers, regular prayers. Uh, fervent not only for ourselves, but for our nation for the world, for all the evils to be conquered in history. You know, go back to the rosary. Go back to the daily rosary, praying the rosary as a family, praying the rosary together as a family. Pray the rosary to defeat ISIS. Pray the rosary to let Our Lady lead us to victory with God's power and strength. Who is Our Lady? You know, she's been destined from the beginning, from the beginning after the fall, she's been destined to, to crush the proud head of the ancient enemy, the devil. And she does not, as she does, she does her crushing with her son, Jesus Christ. You know? Pray for peace every day. Pray to the Queen of Peace. Pray to the Prince of Peace. Pray one Hail Mary each day for that, or one Memorare each day for that, or whatever you decide, just do it. Just do something. Uh, each of us has to get back again. If we're Catholics, go back to regular confession, frequent Holy Communion. Uh, each of us has to frequent our visit to the church. You know, make a frequent visit to the church where our Lord, where the Prince of Peace uh, is present. You know, not visiting any other places that, or places even in the internet that waste our time that get us in trouble. You know, get back to the church. We all have to put the armor of God. Remember, we have to be strong again and strong again with God's strength, you know, again, by putting the whole, the armor of God. Remember what St. Paul said, be strong in the Lord and be strong in the strength of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the walls of the devil. And like the psalm said earlier, God is our refuge on the day of distress. May God's mercy go before us. May he show us the fall of our foes. <laughs>